We're going to show you how to upload designs into the system. So we're in design, upload design. Everything in the system for uploading is based on collections. A collection can be either event-based, like Independence Day, Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, Father's Day, Mother's Day, or they could be niche-based. So they could be dogs, cats, sports, etc. So we've got a few that we've pre-saved uh, for our example here. Uh, the one that we're going to upload to is vacation. So we've got a few designs that are within that niche and they're all going to have the same collection keywords. So the collection keywords that we're going to be using here are vacation, holiday, beach, lake, fun in the sun. You can add up to 50 keywords uh, for some of the platforms, but it's important that the most important keywords are the first ones that you use because some of the platforms that we're uploading to have limitations on either the number of keywords or the number of characters that you can use for the, the keywords. So we cut them off at whatever point the uh, platform says we have to. So always keep all your most important keywords at the front. Uh, keep in mind that keywords are the way that uh, on each platform your customers are going to find your product. So then we've got uh, default collection description one and a platform like Merch or generally on Amazon as well. Uh, this is going to become one of the bullet points uh, and the collection description two is also going to end up being a bullet point. On other platforms, it's going to be any up in the description uh, that customers will buy from. It's important to keep in mind that this is a design that will go onto multiple products. So you don't want to mention anything product specific in either of these uh, collection descriptions. You're going to be keeping everything about the design. Uh, there's a maximum of 200 characters on each of these uh, so that we can use them across all the different platforms. So we've got here great design for your vacation to the, and then we've got a placeholder, which is KW1. A placeholder allows you to utilize design specific keywords and use them as variables for each design within the system. So it's a really handy way of having some level of customization for each design uh, while having an overall format within the collection that makes it really fast and simple to get lots of designs up very quickly. So I'll show you further down exactly how that's going to work. Um, then we're going to go through each of the platforms that we're going to post to. So you can either select or deselect them. We recommend highlighting all those platforms that you either currently want to send to or may in the future. Uh, you can start queuing things for a platform that you haven't connected to yet, even at this point in time. Uh, so it saves you some time if you were to create uh, for all of the platforms now anyway. You then specify whether it's going to be a dark design to go on a light colored product or a light design to go on a dark colored product. The system manages that for you in the background. So on the different platforms, we specify which products should be uploaded to based on what your selection there is. On some of the products on some of the platforms, uh, they're going to be sublimated and they require a background color uh, for us to be able to upload those uh, products. So for this example, uh, we're doing vacation, so we'll probably do a nice blue. And so we'll use that as the, the background color for some of the sublimated products to go on different platforms. There's uh, two types of design available, either a standard design or a templated design. A templated design is one where you would have uh, a large number of designs that have a very similar format and there's just a slight variation between the uh, designs that you're doing. So you might do that for, let's say, 50 different designs for each state of the US or if you were doing uh, name t-shirts, you might have ones for, for different names. 
Uh, there's a, a number of different ways that you could use that. You may have created designs uh, that are essentially templated from a different platform. And when uploading them, it's important that you select the right design type. If you're unsure, ask and uh, we'll give you a bit of guidance on whether something's likely to be templated or not. Some of the platforms don't allow you to upload templated designs. So Spreadshirt and Redbubble are two, two that we're aware of that uh, can potentially ban you if you upload that kind of design. Other platforms allow it. So uh, yeah, if you're not sure, ask. But um, in this case here of this uh, example, we're going to be uploading standard designs. We then select uh, who the design is going to be suitable for. So if it's adults and kids, if it's men only. Uh, so if, if we were uploading a grandfather shirt, for example, uh, it would be men only. If it was for Mother's Day, it might be women only. Uh, there may be some kids only designs or adults only and not kids. The ones that we're uploading now are going to be adults and kids. So we're going to save that collection and then we're going to save it as a collection default. Saving it as a collection default means that the next time you come back and you want to use vacation as a collection, your current settings are saved. Uh, so you'd be able to utilize those for the next time. So now we're going to upload some images. So I've got uh, five images that I've uh, saved here under our vacation folder. You can use up to 100 images at once uh, so it's really fast and simple to upload them you'll see that the name of the file uh, here is holar beaches or it's a beach kind of day they've been named based on what the design is it's quite important and you'll see why shortly so those five designs are all uploading and happens pretty fast so you'll see that it's pulled through into Title 1 and Title 2, the name of the design. You'll see that it tells you the number of characters being 12 uh, for that current title and the maximum number of characters that are allowed for uh, uploading for a Title 1 or for Title 2. So you'll see Title 2 has a smaller number of characters allowed. Uh, that'll be getting uploaded to Spreadshirt, which only allows 50 characters. You'll note that the title name uh, should just be design based. It shouldn't say T-shirt on it or any other product name. When we upload to the different platforms, that'll be appended on the end of it. Uh, so we definitely don't want you adding that in there. It'll create problems. So then we have the descriptions that have flowed through from what we had at, at the top of the screen based on the collection. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some design specific keywords. So this is where it all starts to come together. So we're going to use beach as the first keyword. So here it's going to read in the description, great design for your vacation to the, and then KW1 will be replaced by that first keyword beach. So great design for your vacation to the beach. And then description two would be, you could buy this for everyone going to the beach with you. You could do the same with KW2 through to KW10 will all work. So you can have lots of different design specific keywords and then include those in your description. So we're going to add a couple of additional keywords here. So Hola, and we're going to put Beaches, and then we're going to go on to the next one. So we need to be careful with the order here. So we want Beach to be the first keyword again so that it appears as KW1. And then we're going to go Kind and day as other keywords here. Keep in mind that you're also getting all the uh, collection based keywords as well and that we're actually doubling up on some of these. So beach we've got again here but that's only because we want to use it as a placeholder for KW1. Uh, so it's okay to have some repetition there. So then we're going to use a different KW1 which is going to be lake. So this will have a a design specific uh, description and then we're going to use beach on time here and lake on time 
it's all uh, comma delimited. If you wanted to use phrases, you can do it here in the design specific keywords so that you could have two, uh, two or more words together and then have a, a comma and it would do it as a whole phrase. So we're now going to submit all five designs. Uh, this says five megabytes. We're about to change that in the system. It's actually 10 megabytes is the largest that you can upload. You'll see that it's identified some trademark potential issues. All we do is we click on this orange button and we'll go to the, the trademark review page and that'll be the topic of the next video.